favorite radio ham? Not ham, Mr. Mason. We're amateur radio operators. Oh. My apologies. Apologies accepted. Dr. Barnes, gentlemen, this is a demonstration of amateur radio. It's a hobby enjoyed by people of all ages. And anybody is free to operate on the air? Well, not quite, sir. Uh, first one has to get a license. And to do that, you have to study a lot. And then you have to pass a pretty stiff exam, but it's worth it. I see. Well, how about the demonstration? Well, sir, if uh, you will listen through this, you should receive me loud and clear. In times of emergency, those hands become mighty important. Not hands, Dr. Barnes. Radio amateurs. <laughs> This is W6, TZY. Testing portable six. W6, TZY, testing on two meters, portable six. This is W6, TZY, portable six. W6, TZY, portable six. Testing on two meters. Fred. gather around. Before I announce the winners, I would like to thank the students and faculty at Larkspur for their hospitality. And now for the results. First prize is awarded to Dorothy Beter. The runners up are Irv Kaplan and Fred Whiting. Boy, Fred. What do you mean, that a boy, Fred? I didn't win. I lost. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. For a runner-up, he's taking it pretty hard. You are easy. <laughs> Your car, my car is around the back. You get the others, I'll follow it. All right, take care of my car.
three dashes. Somebody's sending an SOS. Almighty Ice Ice. driving too fast, way too fast. Not thinking about what I was doing. What were you thinking of? About being a loser? You know, not winning doesn't mean you're a loser. In my book, it does. I'm afraid I broke a few parts in that slide. Yeah. I'll make my way up the hill and uh, start walking back to town. Thanks. Thanks for saving me. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. I had an accident, a bad one. I wish my car was in as good a shape as I am. It's all right, everything's fine. Fred's okay. He was just about gonna tell us what happened. Well, I came around that curve. I went off the road. And my car's at the bottom of the hill. I'm okay though, thanks to ISIS. Isis. Rick, why don't I take Fred and Dorothy with me? You and Cindy can arrange for his car. Okay. Uh, Cindy, let's you and me find a phone booth. that Rick. What are we going to do? Well, my vote is while we're here, we might as well look around and then start the long walk back. I'll second that. Well, out of gas in a ghost town with a radio that doesn't work. Welcome to the ranks of the losers, Fred, old boy. 
When did people live here, Miss Thomas? About 1850, 55. Robbery. I'm beginning to understand this a little better. Let's move. Not so fast, folks. It's too bad you didn't get the message before. It would have saved us all a lot of inconvenience. All right, drain, load up. We're gonna have to find a new place. Come on, over here. This was a perfect hideout. A few folks who came by didn't stay long. Surprising how many believe in ghosts. Uh, have a seat. Go on, go on. You folks are gonna have a long walk back. Hey! Take it easy there. What is it, Miss Thomas? I think I lost something. Must have happened when I fell. We'll have plenty of time to look for it after they leave. Boy, they sure must have stolen a lot of things to make a place like this. Come on, don't scratch it. Fred, could you get your radio to work? Not after the way it acted up this morning. What did it sound like? First your voice came on, then there was a crackling noise, and then you were cut off. My antenna must have been shorting out. Let's give it a try. Cindy, sometimes you learn more by losing than by winning. Maybe, but it's not as much fun. Ready? Mayday. Mayday, this is W6 TZ1 with an emergency. Does anyone copy?
We are in trouble. Mayday. Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, please send the police to the ghost town outside Larksburg. This is W6TZY. Does anyone copy? W6TZY, this is WB6KUC. I copy. I am calling the highway patrol. Please confirm your location. Larksburg, ghost town sound, please. I have them on the landline. They are on their way. I will continue to monitor this frequency. Good luck. W6TZY, WB6KUC. Keys, please. You are free to start walking whenever you want. Let's go. I'll right, put you in there. I'll be right back. Hurry up before he finds out we're out of gas. pushing it a little. I have some unfinished business. Please tell the officers that I'll have some more passengers for them in a moment. She's down there looking for something she lost. Miss Thomas, you missed it all. I have this one. And she locked up one of the men, and then the police came, and they went after the boys. Oh, it sounds so exciting. Oh, is that what you were looking for? 
Uh, yes, Dorothy, this is it. I just don't understand what's going on around here. Fred, I'd really like you to have the trophy that I won. <laughs> well, thanks, Dorothy. But you did win. You know, it's funny, though. I don't feel much like a loser anymore. I guess when you feel good about yourself, it's a lot easier to handle losing. Now that's more like it. Let's go home, in my car. Your car? D did something happen to my car? No, but you really ought to have your gas gauge fixed. My gas gauge? That's the same thing that Isis said. How did you... No, no. I think I've been out in the sun too long.